Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with a really interesting arcade game video for you this evening. This is the fantastic, legendary, everybody's favorite WWF Superstars of Wrestling arcade game. Love this game. And it's in a weird cabinet that we'll talk about here in a minute, too. But uh, this was one of my favorite games back in the day because I was such a wrestling fan and still am a little bit. So uh, we figured we should film a little video because a lot of people really like this game. This has been in our shop for a little bit. And uh, a gentleman told us he would buy it if we would fix it. So we're trying to fix it up. And we've got it going. So we're going to give him a call and see if he would like it for his game room. Check out the interesting shape of the cabinet. This is a very strange cabinet, so if you played Superstars, you probably did not play it in this type of cabinet. There was a dedicated one um, that looks more traditional, like most arcade games did in the 80s, but it uh, it wasn't... If you played this game, it was probably a kit like this in some kind of generic cabinet. They did have dedicated ones, and we've gotten in plenty of those over the years, but usually when we get them, it's in a kit because they sold many more kits than they did the dedicated one. So... Uh, this may not look completely familiar to you, but the gameplay will. This is the first WWF wrestling game. And after they did this one, they did WrestleFest. And after they did WrestleFest, they did WrestleMania. And after they did WrestleMania, they did Royal Rumble. We've got a video of Royal Rumble up on here, if you'll go look. We've got a video of WrestleMania up on here, if you'll go look. But we haven't done a WrestleFest video yet, and we haven't done this Superstars video yet. So today is the day. Now, this came out, I believe, in 1987. I believe. No, 89. I'm early. 1989, which was right in the heyday of uh, arcade games. Now, this copyright is pretty interesting. Check this out. 1989 Technos Japan Corporation. They're the ones who designed the game. 1989 Titan Sports Inc. That was the WWF. Hulk Hogan trademark is a trademark of the Marvel Comics Group. So basically, Marvel sued Hulk because he was using the Incredible Hulk's name, obviously, right? <laughs> so um, he got the name Hulk because. He was bigger. Than, he, he he was on a radio show one day with Lou Ferrigno, who was the Incredible Hulk on television, and Hulk was bigger than Lou Ferrigno. So they said, "Oh, look, you're bigger than the Hulk." So Hulk Hogan became a household name. Marvel Comics though sued and basically got the uh, the rights to the name, licensed exclusively to Titan Sports Incorporated. WWF World Wrestling Federation and WWF Superstars are registered trademarks of Titan Sports Incorporated. So WWF Superstars was their show, I believe, that was on on Saturdays. So if you were a little kid and you were watching wrestling on Saturdays, you were probably watching WWF Superstars of wrestling. So they bought this kit and they put it into this cabinet. Now this particular cabinet is a strange game that you don't see ever. This is a... Uh, if you check out the, the coin door... That's a Cinematronics logo. This is the raised letter Cinematronics coin door, which is actually kind of valuable. But we're leaving it on this cabinet. Um, this was a rare Cinematronics game called Scion, S-C-I-O-N, which was like a space shooting game. And originally, it had a three-dimensional marquee. Like it came out at an angle, and then was flat, and then went back at an angle. So the marquee originally stuck out. But the problem is whenever you turn it into a kit, or put a kit in it, Nobody has a three-dimensional marquee, so they need it to be flat. So on a game like that, they always cut it flat so you can put just a regular marquee on it like that. So, WWF Superstars it became. Now, this game, Scion, is so freaking rare. Check out the serial number on it. Where did I see that? Oh, it's painted over. You can barely see it under here. This is serial number 14. <laughs> but... It's not really all that popular of a game. It's a, it's kind of a shooting game, and uh, we don't have any of the art. Originally, the cabinet was black. They put Formica over it, um, and it just had generic side art originally. And the three-dimensional marquee is gone. So there's nothing Scion about it anymore, except that's the original cabinet. 
So the operator must have had that game that hadn't been making him any money. And then he put WWF Superstars in it. And I imagine probably made more money off WWF Superstars than he ever dreamed of making off Scion. So we're going to leave it a Superstars because we don't have any of the stuff to turn it back. Now, it may have been at some point in its life another game, too, because there's a couple of holes here that have been blocked off in the control panel as if there was another button at some point that you wouldn't need for superstars. So I don't know. But it is what it is. So Scion, at least the cabinet lives on, but the game is no longer with us, but we will treat it as a superstars. Now, if you're into wrestling at all, the, the sad thing about wrestling is that a lot of the wrestlers die early. So we've got the man, Hulk Hogan here, who is still with us, still doing well. We've got the macho man, Randy Savage, who unfortunately has passed away. We have a, a heart attack, unfortunately. We have Miss Elizabeth, who was his wife at the time, who unfortunately has passed away. She uh, died of a drug overdose. We've got Hacksaw Jim Duggan, who is still alive and kicking and doing well. We've got, and this is of 2016. I don't know what will happen this year. Hopefully, hopefully we don't lose any more people. We've got Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man, who is a preacher actually now. He's uh, still alive and well, still with us. We've got the Ultimate Warrior, who unfortunately has passed away. Heart attack as well. We have the Honky Tonk Man, who is still alive and kicking and doing well. We have the incredible Andre the Giant, who passed away many years ago of a heart attack. And the big boss man, whose name was Ray Trailer. I can't remember how he passed away, but unfortunately he's passed away as well. So it's kind of sad to play some of these 80s wrestling games because everybody's dead, or at least half of them are. Um, and there's a few, I think there's a few other characters in the, in the game. Now the side art's faded a little bit. And I think it, most of these originally had like, a, there was another big star that said WWF that they would put up here usually. Um, either they never put that on there or the star was peeled off years later. Just the generic control panel overlay that's yellowed over the years. Um, and then they took some of the bezel that came with it and put it back here on the back part when they did their kit. So it says, game features, two player interactive. The game can be played by two players at the same time, either competing against each other or teaming up against the computer. Buy-in, a second player can join the game at any time. If you want to play one player versus the computer, press the A button to start. So there are three start buttons. So the first one is the A button, one player versus the computer. If you want to play first player versus the second player, press the B button to start. If you want to play two players versus the computer, press the C button to start. Increase your energy. If your power runs low at any time during the game, you can insert an extra coin and press the A button to pump up your energy level. So, you are trying to go through and get to the uh, championship match, which I believe... Let me see if I've got this straight. I think in this one you, you play two players each. Yeah, you're a tag team. So you pick two characters and you go through and you're trying to get to Andre the Giant and the Million Dollar Man, which was known at the time, I believe, as... Were they the Dream Team? I can't remember. No, it was a million bucks was the name of it because he says no one can beat a million bucks. <laughs> so... The uh, Million Dollar Man and Andre the Giant, there he is right there, were the tag team champions of the world at the time, along with their trusty, uh, the Million Dollar Man's trusty sidekick, Virgil. And uh, it shows Mean Gene interviewing them. By the way, Virgil is still with us, and Mean Gene is still with us, so that's good. And uh, it shows uh, Mean Gene interviewing them there. And I think I think uh, whenever you've got the the a track sound turned on, he says, "I'll beat you with my million dollar dream," which was his finishing move. <laughs> and then sometimes whenever Andre talks, he goes, 
No one can beat a million bucks. This is cool stuff, folks. It doesn't get much better than this. So WWF Superstars. I will set up the tripod. We'll play through it a little bit. Be back in just a second. There he is. The man. The legend. Mean Gene. All right. So we will play it a little bit. Add some credits here. So you're begging your mom for a quarter. She finally relents. So I'm going to be Hulk and the Macho Man. Three more victories to get to the title match. WWF live from New York. Come on, honky tonk. So that's just if you hit the punch button over. If you hit both, you run the ropes. And then if you hit kick, I mean the B button, you kick. Suplex. Oh no! Oh no! I was trying to hit him with the big boot. Yeah! Let me throw him away that way. There we go. Now in this game, they actually had their finishing moves. All of them have their, their finishing moves. So Hulk does his uh, his leg drop, which I'll try to pull off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You can also climb out of the ring. You can climb the ropes. This is like WrestleMania 6 all over again. I may need to Hulk up with a quarter, people. I hulked up. Let me see if I can knock out the old warrior here. Man, he's too strong. No, no, not the gorilla press. Mess this guy up a little bit. Bam, that's what you get. Come on back in here, warrior. I'm going to hit you with that. I'm going to hit you with that leg drop. Or maybe not. <laughs> Man. Oh, no. I didn't want to do that. I hulked up again, people. Wrong button again. Looks like he wasn't ready anyway. Okay, how do I do it? He's not down anymore. Mm. This is excellent. Oh, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, I need more quarters. I need more quarters, quick. Quick, mom, give me more quarters. I 
want to get him out here in the middle of the ring and do it so it looks cool. He's completely beat now. So if I can just get him in the ring, it'll be over. All right. Might even be able to get the big boot going. Nope. Okay, here we go. No, no. It didn't work. I must have been hitting the wrong button. Come on, honky tonk. You don't want none. you do it all right here we go that time though mm. maybe you have to do it at his head Sending the old Hulkster for a ride. All right. It's not the B button. That's what you get, man. Messing with the Hulk. Come on now. Oh, nice headbutt. Boom. drop 
need more quarters, Mom. With the running bulldog. Maybe you have to do the big boot and then the leg drop. I can't remember. We're going to be here all night, folks, if I can't remember how to do it. All right, so both of them does the drop kick. I did, the, I did the big boot earlier, though. back suplex that's pretty cool another one one well, good I wanted to finish you anyway He calls for it, doesn't he? Don't you like call to the crowd like you're going to do it? Like Hulk used to do? Mm. Maybe you, you got to, uh, nobody kicks out of two leg drops. Come on. I can't figure it out, people. We're just going to keep trying it. Need more credits. And, it's time to get on. and I just beat the crap out of the big boss man. But no, he does his like finishing 
Running off the ropes, leg drop. Oh! Neck breaker. Very nice. Oh, fist off the top rope. I got table in the ring. Come on. By the way, you can tag in Savage, but I never did that. I'm still trying to figure out the leg drop. sure you call it somehow he, he like he does his ear thing tagging back and forth is because they're both spent so I should be able to finish either one of them if I can figure out how to do it That's a sick move there. Need more credits, Mom.
Oh, oh man, that's sick. Back guy off the top rope. Never see that again. I just can't get it to do it. <laughs> Stop rope. All right. Well, I guess I'm not going to be able to figure it out, so I'll just pin him. All right. So they're going to have Andre. They are declaring themselves challengers to your world championship belt. No one can beat me above. I'll put you to sleep with my million dollar dream. <laughs> Here he comes. Gentlemen, it's time to get it on. <laughs> well, he's begging off. Maybe we can keep uh, DiBiase in. Oh no, there's Andre. We don't want none of Andre. Ooh, nice suplex. Oh no, I'm in the million dollar dream. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh man, fall away slam, or what's that called? Fall away slam, I think. Oh no, not Andre. See him whispering to him. Oh, I couldn't pick him up. <laughs> I gave up. Already? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna check real quick how to do his leg drop. Here.
Well, I looked it up and I'm getting it all confused. You can do it you can do it in WrestleFest a little more like his actual finisher, but in this one that was his finisher. Whenever you get near him on the ground and you just hit uh, B, he does the leg drop on their head like I was doing. He, he doesn't do the running one. What a letdown. Still a great game though. So there you have it. That is WWF Superstars in a strange cabinet. Now by the time you see this video, we may have already sold WWF Superstars. It may have already tagged its way out of here into somebody else's house. But if that's true, don't worry about it. Just check out our website. We've got a lot of games for sale at all times. Just uh, go to lionsarcade.com and you can see what we've got in right now. We've got a whole building full of arcade games. Now if you want, you can stop by and see us in person. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. And like I said, we've got all kinds of games like this. Now, if you're not local, so you cannot come by, and you're not looking to buy a game, so you will not go to our website, well, that's fine. Maybe you'll uh, subscribe to us here on YouTube. Every time we get a game in like this, we film a little video of it, have some fun playing it, and show it off to people so they can remember some of their favorite games. I'm sure a lot of you that are watching this far have seen this game years ago. And uh, just subscribe to us. And every time we uh, film a video, which is usually once or twice a week, uh, it will send you a little note letting you know. So we'll see you on that next, that next video. And remember, no one can beat Million Bucks.